It's time to make your next dinner reservation with Groupon. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Microsoft's Xbox Music can now be streamed from a web browser. Xbox Music first launched in October for Windows 8 and Xbox 360 users, but now the streaming music service can be accessed from the web. It lets you stream millions of songs as well as buy songs and access the tracks on multiple devices. It's free to try for 30 days, but you have to give your credit card number to try it out. And you'll want to turn off automatic renewal because after the trial, you'll be charged $10 a month. A year-long pass costs less in the long run at $100. It'll be coming to Android and iOS devices sometime later this year. Groupon has added a new way to get deals on restaurants. The site launched Groupon Reserve, where users can reserve tables at the best restaurants in their city at discounts of up to 40%, and you won't have to show a voucher. The discount is just applied to the check. A while ago, Groupon acquired the website Savored, and this is the same thing as Savored. Groupon Reserve is in 10 markets to start. Eventually, it'll also feature deals at spas, salons, and hotels. The company that's certainly not happy about all this is Open Table, which also does online reservations. We have another clue that the Apple iWatch could be coming out soon. Apple has filed a trademark in Japan for the name iWatch. The filing was first reported by Bloomberg. AT&T could be working on self-destructing emails. AT&T filed a patent for an email system that will destroy a message in a given amount of time, regardless if it's ever opened. But of course, someone can always copy, save, or forward an email, so a message can always come back to haunt you. Still, it could be an interesting concept if it becomes a reality. And the Twitter universe may be getting smaller thanks to a language translation tool being tested. Some users are seeing tweets automatically translated into English on Twitter.com and in the Twitter Windows phone app, but it's not an official feature yet. There are smartphone apps that help you hail a cab and order a luxury car to give you a ride, but now you can use an app to order a helicopter. Yeah, at least you can on Wednesday if you live in New York City. The app Uber is offering helicopter service to those wanting to get away to the Hamptons for an Independence Day holiday at the reasonable price of $3,000. But if you rather just order a car service to the popular seaside resort of Long Island, Uber is selling rides throughout the summer at a flat rate starting at $300. How charming. That's your tech news update. You can find more details at cnet.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.